You seem to have made Haunted and <clears throat> Force and Untold in a similar way. I wondered if you could uh, talk me through your workflow. Is it a case of going out and gathering the material and then uh, scripting your story through that material? Yeah, I mean, I have sort of quite a definite process now, I guess. And, and um, it's sort of talking to the people, the interviewees initially and getting a sense of their story and the sense of the story I want to tell and sort of, sort of to some degree mapping out the story before I've done the proper interview with them. So, you know, talking about email or on the phone. So I kind of have a sense of that. And then being able to sort of shape the interview and sort of direct the interview in, in terms of that kind of story I want to tell. Then, you know, going to meet them and we've haunted, you know, it was generally going and meeting them in their house and hearing their ghost story, sometimes travelling some distances, you know. With um, Force and Untold, I was travelling all across the States. We did about like a thousand miles of driving and 24 hours of flights in a, in a week, you know, going from like California to Nashville. And But so collecting all the material and then bringing that material back and I get it all transcribed and uh, I sit down with it and I go through it and I'm listening to it and reading the transcripts and piecing together my story and writing my script at the same time. So I write script and I'm cutting and pasting the, the sort of transcribed material into that. So, you know, it's a very sort of tightly woven, tightly told story mixing between narration and, and interviews. And um, that is very time consuming by its very nature. So I, I come up with a script, which is a mixture of audio material we've collected and, and my narration. And then I'm not, I, I, I should learn how to edit. I, I can't edit, you know, so then it goes to an editor or the producer, depending on, you know, the, the setup, if the producer can edit. So then it's assembled into this kind of rough you know, edit kind of thing. And then I sort of make cuts to that. And I, I sort of decide that should go or that should change. And then the sort of final layer is it goes to this guy, Pascal Wise, who I've worked with on both Haunted and, and Force Untold, who is a brilliant sound designer and musician. And he does the sound design and he writes music for it. And in, in, with Haunted, it was very bespoke music. You know, each episode had very different music to it. And again, you know, these are all incredibly labor intensive layers and expensive layers because you're paying for people's time. And so I make life very hard for myself. You know, <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure I am advertising this as a kind of perfect way to make a podcast because it took me <laughs> kind of months and months to make both of these things. Series. And, you know, it was kind of exhausting and, 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 you know, brilliant, but exhausting and, you know, brain numbingly hard work, you know. But at the end of it, I feel like I've got something I'm very proud of. And, and I, I feel like it's a kind of lush, textured listen because we've been able to have all these different stages. That's Danny Robbins. And this is the Podcast Producers podcast with me, Neil Mossy. It's a place where podcast producers share their tips and experiences so that everyone can start a podcast and keep going. There's details of how to subscribe in the description. Thanks so much for getting to this point in the podcast. And thanks again to Danny. The links to him and his podcasts are in the description. And if you've got this far into the podcast, it's really good to have you here. Why not give me a thumbs up or a comment or tweet me? It'd be lovely to hear from you. And there's also details in the description for where you can find the next episode. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks. Bye.